Well, less than three months after meeting a Portsmouth police detective, then 91 year old Geraldine Weber told them that she wanted to put her house and deed it to him in her will. Well, it's not clear who in the department knew what, when, but today his immediate supervisor at the time says that if he knew then what he knows now, he would have advised Goodwin to run from the situation. Detective Aaron Goodwin met Geraldine Weber in October 2010 when he knocked on her door during a neighborhood sweep. Within a few weeks, her attorney asked Goodwin's supervisor to check into their developing friendship. Aaron told me that he uh, did accept uh, stuffed bunny and some uh, toy cars, if I remember right, and that he had immediately uh, disclosed that to Sergeant Keevney. I felt that there was no evidence of bad intent or that he was trying to get in there and uh, fleece this old woman. Um, I really believe that he was looking out for her best interests. McDonald was captain of detectives at the time. He says he didn't know that Weber intended to leave Goodwin her house. I gave him advice that his relationship should move into an off-duty relationship with her if he was now her friend and helping her out with these issues. But he says by January of 2011, the chief did know about the house and told Goodwin a personal relationship was okay, but that another police captain would handle any police affairs. To, to be clear, the understanding was that whether Aaron inherited, you know, another stuffed bunny or he inherited a bunch of other stuff or a house, it wasn't our deal anymore. He called it an odd situation. I think I, I made a joke to him about, you know, Harold and Maude or something to that effect. Now, late today, a doctor that assessed Weber for the Bureau of Elderly and Adult Services testified that Weber was socially isolated and vulnerable to exploitation and did not have the cognitive ability to care for herself. Reporting live in Dover, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.